Are you ready to look at some great vintage and antique stuff today? We'll be perusing glassware, everything from Fenton to Tiffany, furniture, vintage fur coats, hand embroidery, pottery, serving wear, art, jewelry, and so much more. I hope that you are watching this video from the warmth and comfort of your home or office because I can tell you it is freezing cold out here today and only the real diehards are here. These are my kind of people, the ones who are out here willing to brave the cold for that one special find. Like these penguins, how cute are these? I can't get over them. Or they're looking for that one really great deal. Either way, they are more likely to leave with armfuls of treasures they never imagined they would find. Hi, I'm Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. There is so much to see today. The vintage antique flea market is packed with stuff. Don't get too worn out looking at stuff though because afterwards I have a special treat. I am going to show you a bunch of stuff that is coming out of storage that is going to be uh, we're going to be deciding on it whether to put it in back in storage, whether to keep it, whether to sell it. I am with my aunt who used to sell antiques and we're going through so much stuff. I'm going to share it with you probably after every one of these vintage antique flea market episodes and you'll see our progress and you'll see us identifying things and you are not going to want to miss it because there's some incredible stuff and it's all going to be a surprise to me so i'm really looking forward to sharing it with you and that will come at the end of this video after we're done at the flea market so hang in there and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of it the address to this vintage antique flea market is in the description box there are so many unique things to see here so even though you may not be in the market to spin your own yarn. It's always really interesting to see these little bits of history just floating around this market. This is one of my favorite vendors because my eyes bug out every time I come by his booth. Wow, this is quite the collection of transferware. I haven't seen this much in one booth at this flea market before. It's priced per piece in case you're looking for a replacement for something in mom or maybe grandma's pattern. Or you could just start your own collection today. Unreal. There's so much of it. If you love looking at vintage and antiques as much as I do, the link to my channel is listed in the description box below this video where I have playlists so you can binge watch from the very beginning. I may have seen this blue picture here before, 1800s, absolutely stunning. I love the color and everything about it, but it's a little out of my price range. I'll keep an eye on it. If he brings it back out and maybe the price goes down, I might just have to buy it anyway because I feel like it's my soulmate. The vendors set their own prices, so those can vary wildly from booth to booth. You can go from one really curated, really, uh, we'll say expensive booth to one that is just I don't know, everything in it is $5, and you, you can find unbelievable treasures there. Whoopsie, did you hear that glass break? That's not good. You never want to hear that. It was across the aisle, so I didn't see what broke, but I'm hoping it was nothing too special. This is the kind of place where the more you know, the better deal you'll get. So if you're just starting out, you might want to go to a table that's highly curated, figure out what it is that you like, and then before you make a purchase, 
take a walk around and see if you can find another one at a table where the prices are lower especially on a poor weather slower day like this one this place or any place like it is absolutely ideal to comparison shop Okay. <laughs> $5. $5 does seem kind of steep, but all right, fair. One was like. Cold, right? It's freezing out, huh? You're smart with your little heater here. Yeah, I got it. That's brilliant. Yes, ten dollars. <laughs> This frame gave me goosebumps. It's old and it's gorgeous. He was asking 70 for it. For me, out here, I really like to look for deals, so I was hoping for closer to 50 and honestly, maybe even 40, 45. But, oh, stunning and worth what he's asking. And it would cost a small fortune more if you try to buy it at an antique store. I love antique and vintage lighting so much. My home could easily look like one of those lighting stores where the ceiling is just filled with tons and tons of lighting fixtures. I really have to watch myself. I thought they were face papers. They make papers for women. It's like they just like the tissue when you block the oil off your face. And so I said, oh, are those cosmetic? And he's like, no, no, these are zigzags. Like, oh, how cool. I said, well, how much? He said, just take them. Probably because I'm old enough to know what they are. You gave them to you for free. Yeah. 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 They're going in Tom's stocking once I dry them out. Thoroughly. Because Tom will get a kick out of them. Mm. I mean, they're like, even though he doesn't tell you. What? What happened? Not my thing. I I I There was a whole lot more I wanted to show you with that last booth, but I just couldn't squeeze in there. There were a fair amount of people and I just, I couldn't muscle in. So unfortunately, that happens sometimes. Thank you.
Wow, look at this beautiful little hand-painted wall fountain. It's two pieces and it's actually in the opposite order <laughs> that it would go on the wall. Stunning. The minute I saw this spectacular character, I knew there were furs all around to be seen in this place today. Look at this little vintage chunky embroidered tablecloth. I love everything about it. This table's for the glass fans. Fenton, Faustoria, Cambridge, Heisey, all the classics. This is a gorgeous little satin green tiffin jar. Let me know if there are any tiffin collectors out there in the comments. I'd love to know. Tiffin makes these sort of usually softer colors in their glass. Lots of etchings. They're clear and they're crystal. Usually have lots of etchings with really intricate gold rims that look highly embossed. I think it's just beautiful. And if you're a glass fan, you haven't lived until you've seen their satin black amethyst poppy vase. Keep your eye out for one. It'll change your life. Oh look, it's the Heisey H. You can actually see it on this one, the H in the diamond. I, they never show up on camera, or at least I can't see them. So that was a good one. I was really happy to be able to show that. Dorothy Thorpe. She was a mid-century designer out of Los Angeles.
Yeah, I first I got one of those mother's mother um, things that let Sylvie flex because that's what they're called. Um, what are they called? Buzzamatos. Those. That's what they're called. Those pictures. How's that spelled? B u z z a, motto. Okay. That was the original company that made them. A friend of mine collects the mother ones. Did you really? Yeah. Well, thank you. My audience and your audience appreciate that. It has the wet fog comes in mm -hmm. after the cold, and then it drops the temperature 10 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, we're in. I love the spot under the freeway. Oh, really that long? Well, they're, t yeah, they're having a lot of, I think, a lot of problems with the homeless there, too. That will end up where I don't think we'll be able to have this anymore here. Really? I still have a box that we haven't unpacked. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. Should I come back later today? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I mean, you can if you want, but I don't. Uh -huh. Isn't that pretty? I'm looking at that girl's purse. Look at Oh, that's cute. It's not Somewhere. <laughs> that's a good place to find it. Exactly. <laughs> find some great stuff at thrift stores. Yep. This piece was here last time, and I really wanted to show the signature, so I thought I'd give it one more try. I can never pick up the signatures on my camera. It's so they unfortunate. Yeah. There's, I can hardly see them anyway, because they're so tiny, but I see it. I just can't well, pick it up, I no matter what. When I look on the uh, internet, I see the signature box piece there. Yeah. But you can't see it unless you get the light on it just right. Yeah, and it's so hard to do, especially on camera, so I'm so glad to hear it's picking up, even if I can't, with my naked eye. It could be yours. <laughs> my mom's over and see but it says I love the color of this one it's gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful this tiffin bowl gave me the chills it is so stunningly gorgeous Mycin. Wow. Well, I'm always watching their vases, and if I had a cool 10 grand to drop on a vase, Mycin would be the one.
before. Oh, they, yeah. they're, they're different, huh? Because we have the shallot. But they look so good. For the younger crowd who might not know, on the right there on that table were 1920s Art Deco Batwing Slip Shades, and those go to a lighting fixture. So if you're not familiar with Art Deco, do yourself a favor and Google Art Deco Lighting and thank me later. So gorgeous. I knew we'd come across the furs eventually, and I should have guessed this is where they'd be. Yeah. And I got a beaver. I brought my long beaver coat in the truck. That one, that one I'm not selling. Thank you. We actually have 
Here is a perfect example of when you know you know. This is labeled as a vase. It is milk glass, but it is not a vase. It's actually a base. It's a pedestal base that a very large milk glass bowl goes on top of. Now, oftentimes you can find the bowl and the pedestal separate, and when you do that, you get the whole set for much, much less. Royal Copley Deco Leaf Face. Put candles in it and then they have these cars. Cute little 40s cookie jar right here. Beautiful little candy dish. I know it looks like it says $75, but I'm pretty sure it's $25. I think just part of the price got cut off. Thank you. Very You're much. Welcome. 
You got it, buddy. Thank you. That was a cute little cast iron Scotty dog. I thought it was a doorstop. I almost swooped it up, but alas, it was not. <laughs> this even sounds old. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. And I hope you saw lots of different things. I just, I try to shake it up and show different things every time. And I know you saw some of the classics like Heisley and Fenton, all great stuff. But we are gonna show you, oh goodness, so much today. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time with my aunt going through her antiques that have been putting antiques and vintage that have been put away in storage and I know I'm going to be in for a huge huge surprise she used to sell antiques so some of it are things that she bought to sell but also some of it are going to be from our family there are going to be antiques that have been passed down that I may be seeing for the first time I'm not sure exactly what I'm getting myself into but we're going to go through it box by box that's all so dirty Look at the frame. The, it's beautiful. Do you want light here? I got light. Oh, that's okay. Isn't it, see? Isn't my grandmother stunning? <gasps> and this is my we dad's that side. One. So that's why me and my aunt and my grandmother and my grandfather, this I look a, nothing like them. But I This swear. is a signed autograph for Buddha Valentino. Oh, wow. You can see the signed autograph. Yeah. I should clean it. It's so dirty. <laughs> A little dusting. Yeah, you want me to dust it real fast? Can really see his face. <laughs> and you can see the autograph. Oh wow! And that old pen and ink, you know. I love it. That was from your great great aunt Pasha. Oh wow! San Francisco. If you want to see what I bought at this flea market, that's going to come after the next video. This has actually been a part one. And the next video will be the part two. But here's what we're getting into right now. This is the first box. I chose a smaller one so that I could acclimate to the excitement because I know it's going to be incredible. I, can't, I just can't wait. My heart is pounding. I'm so excited. And why did we choose to do this now during the holiday season? Well, because we've been spending a lot of time together lately due to the holidays and she brought it up. And I'll tell you what, do not tell me I have boxes full of antiques and I'm not sure what's in them and not expect me to go immediately grab them and go through them. I was like, now is the time. Why? Because you told me now and I can't let it go. So <laughs> it's, it's a very busy season for us, but it's going to be so worth. I am so excited. I cannot wait to dive in. I'm diving into the first one. Before I do, are you seeing this James McCracken behind me? I mean, good eye if you caught it. And we can't find another one. We haven't been able to find another one at all. So as far as we know, it's a one of a kind. If you know anything about this particular painting, please let me know in the comments because there's a lot of mystery behind it at the moment, but it is beloved. Uh, I'm t both of us love it so much. And my aunt has the greatest story about finding this in San Francisco at the Cow Palace at a, a vintage antique fair. So uh, it, it means so much to us and any information you have would be incredible. Here goes the first one. Ooh. 
get you a close up there. I think I'm just gonna unwrap first and then we'll talk about it, I guess. How about that? This little vase was purchased at the 1934 World's Fair and there's supposed to be a whole nother box filled with items that were purchased there. It still has the sticker on it. Amazing. Shirley Temple. Wow, Shirley Temple has been popping up all over everything lately, especially at the Vintage Antique Flea Market. This is like Christmas for me, only better, you know, or my birthday or whatever you celebrate. Like, I'm just unwrapping constantly, opening constantly. My eyes are so big right now. Oh, how cute. I'm looking them all over anyway, but I already know everything she has is in absolutely perfect condition because she wouldn't buy it any other way. She said some things are more valuable, some things are rarer. I just, there's no telling what it's, what there's gonna be in a box. Oh. There's another one that's a pear. Oh, it's a chicken and a rooster. Oh, it's very exciting. Can you see the crackle in it? I'll get a better picture of it when I'm done unwrapping. They <sighs> might, yeah, no, I'm not. Let me. He, they sound his stuff, so he's real, you know? Yeah. She's talking about the Monty Blue. Film star, silent film star. I will show you a picture of that in a minute, but I just wanted you to see the crackle. And how old do you think these are, Auntie? Oh, who knows? Probably 50s, I think, the way the 50s. style looks to me. Yeah. 50s, 40s, 50s. I don't think they're that old. This is the silent film star that here. Monty Blue. Monty Blue. It's signed. Yeah. All your books, too. Listen, this, this one here. This place is like walking into a honey. museum. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. It's working to try to keep a poker face. Can you tell that that's pink? Oh my word. I was gonna try to not react too much, but I'm, I'm having trouble. I'm wondering if that's a pear. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, that that's a pear. It may not be in this box even if it is. And it's a pear. It's a pear. Oh, it's pink. Oh, it's pink. Oh my goodness. Ha, I was really trying to convey that they weren't milk glass. Be, be still my beating heart. Okay, so this is Tuscan pink, Cambridge, pair of candelabras that I just pulled out of that box. Unreal. And Auntie, you said what to me? 
About what, honey? About these. I, I have an ashtray with it. I have an ashtray. Oh, she has. A, oh, she gave me the matching ashtray too. But so she said I can have them. So all of it. Choose a she pair. Said, oh. Choose a pair to read the collection. Tanya. These are, a pair of three of the these are mine now. These are coming home with me. And I'm oh, trying sure. not to cry on camera. Oh, but sure. I am so excited. Do I ever see these anywhere? No. You're kidding. No. Do you see them anywhere you go? No. I mean, I, I mean, even in forever. antique stores. Yeah. I've had them since the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. And they're about 1930s. Mm. Uh, they're stunning. I, I've i never seen a pair. Any, I've seen one. I've never seen a pair anywhere in my area I that I've care. gone. I am so excited. Like, this is just thank you, Auntie. Oh, honey, it's worth it's it. So it's excited. worth it if you love them. So I love Aww, them too. I love you. them. They're in my house forever. She's going to make me cry on camera. Stop. She's going to make me cry. Stop, stop, stop. Mm. This has been an amazing day full of surprises and excitement for me and I hope you enjoyed it and you'll continue watching after I do these vintage antique flea market videos. I'm hoping to have uh, one of these reveals every time and I, oh, I can't wait to see what's next and I can't wait to share it with you and until next time, happy thrifting. Thank you.